Wait for it. Welcome back. It's time for another episode in the Faith at Home series, helping parents and carers to build moments in each day for meeting God together. This week, we are looking at the theme of patience. But not just the art of waiting in silent stillness, we're going to think about patience as a way of being with God in activity too. Let's start things off. Being patient is to wait. Patient means to be calm and let others go before you. Being calm and waiting for your time. Let your friends go first. Patience means that if you want to go somewhere but someone needs to take you and they tell you to wait and you wait, then you are patient. I find it easy to be patient because I like waiting for my turn in the line. I find it hard to be patient because when someone annoys me, I, I just I need to remember to be calm and relaxed. I find it easy to be patient because um, I know if I keep trying, I can achieve anything. Patient people will go far in life. Lord, I pray that as a family, we could be completely humble and gentle, patient and bearing with one another in love. I ask that our love for you and each other would be expressed as patience and kindness. Please send your Holy Spirit to work in us so others can see your love in us. By the way, we are patient with each other. Amen. Amen. Patience is a word that we parents feel we know well, usually because we feel like we're losing it. When it comes to thinking about God, we tend to imagine patience as sitting in silent stillness waiting for God to show up. But stillness doesn't come easily to most people. So what if waiting with God was an active experience? We've got some wonderful insights from Caroline Edwards, who is the Children and Youth Advisor for the Diocese of York. Here she is sharing from her experience about spirituality being expressed in activity. One of the hardest things about being a parent and being a child is being patient, waiting for something that we really want to happen or getting frustrated because things aren't working out in quite the way that we wanted. It's very tempting to think that spirituality is all about stillness and silence. But for many of our children, that just simply isn't the case. They encounter God and they express their friendship with him through their bodies, through their hearts and their minds and the things that they touch and they sense. And so as we're encouraging them to pray and reflect and talk about their friendship with God, then let's encourage them to do it through their bodies. They can pray while they fidget, even if it drives us a little bit mad. And so if our teenage son wants to drum out a rhythm to our family prayers with a couple of pencils on the table, that's okay. And if we run and shout in the wind our praises to God, that's okay too. God knows about waiting. There's a lot written in the Bible about his heart and company with us as we wait. Advent and Lent are times in the church calendar where we wait. So perhaps another way of helping our children to be patient is to mark these days and to give them opportunities just to, to note the waiting that they have done so patiently. These Faith at Home videos are building on each other week by week, helping you find where God is in your every day. We hope these ideas are working together to help you see any part of your day as a potential Faith at Home moment. Whether it's asking questions to start a conversation with your family about your favorite film, or whether it's humbly admitting that you don't quite know the answer to all the big questions. Exploring faith together is simply about sharing in the journey of faith honestly, learning from each other. Every week we've been suggesting some questions to help you think more deeply about faith. 
I wonder what you'd discover if you asked your family one of these questions. Why is patience so hard to keep? How do you feel when someone is not patient with you? What does God's patience look like? How would life be different if everyone was patient with each other? There are loads of stories in the Bible that you might want to explore together to get an image of God's patience. Jesus would often head off to spend time with God to pray and chat with him. Jonah waited in the belly of the big fish, which gave him the time to reconnect with God. And in Acts, we read the disciples were told to wait in Jerusalem for the coming of the Holy Spirit. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. If you are watching the Faith at Home collective worship videos, connecting with your own church's activities, or have come across this video for the first time, we would love to encourage you to use these questions to start conversations about faith. One of the best ways to learn how to do this is to hear from other families who have tried it themselves. We'd love to share your story right here. Let us know whether you've tried any of these ideas and how it went. You can email us with your experience or better yet, send us in a short video to faithathome at churchofengland.org. We are ending with a great idea we've heard from a church in Canterbury in Kent. They have been using building bricks to help all ages to share their thoughts on passages from the Bible. They call it Lego Divina. It's a way of using our hands and a small pile of bricks to help us explore what we feel and think about a Bible passage. It's really easy to do at home. You will need a handful of building bricks for each person and someone to read a Bible passage out loud. Invite everyone to simply build whatever comes to mind as they listen to the passage being read. It can be a model of something, a shape or a pattern. Or a single break might represent something meaningful. B and Theo are here to show us how it works. Why not try it with your family this week? May you know and share God's love this week. And may you find patience to meet with God who is with us in the quiet, in the noise, in stillness, and in our activity this coming week. Are you ready for building Lego? Yeah, first we need to start with Moses. You're right, because we're going to do the story of Moses going up Mount Sinai, aren't we? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll read the story a couple of times. Can you just build what comes into your head? So when Moses went up the mountain, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord settled on Mount Sinai. For six days the cloud covered the mountain, and on the seventh day the Lord called to Moses from within the cloud. To the Israelites the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. Then Moses entered the cloud as he went up the mountain, and he stayed on the mountain forty days and forty nights. I'm spending time focusing on Moses. I'm just building the mountain at the moment. Whoa, nice one, Mavis. Cloud. How will we make the cloud? Have you got anything you want to share about your model yet? Oh, oh, Are you still building? Um, my model is Moses. Whoops. He's standing there, and because it's been so long, he's gone a lot on top. It represents the time he waits. He's got a beard because he probably did. What do you think? If you had to describe that, waiting and waiting and waiting, what would you describe that as being, being something? Patience. Yeah, I think it would be patient. patient. A lot of patience he had in all that waiting. 
Do you want me to tell you about mine? Yeah. Okay, so I gave him a map because I think God's been leading him and I also put the flames because these are the Israelites at the bottom of the mountain and they see something different to Moses, don't they? And sometimes as a Christian, you might see things in a different way, but it's no less important that he's seen God as a, a flame. That's just as important. Yeah, God is a cloud, God is a flame, God is an animal flame, God is a shepherd, God is a gate, God is a hedge, God is everything, yeah. God is your heart. <laughs> it's a lot in your heart. And I was thinking about him being very patient as well. There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Theo. Love. <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Bye.